this episode, we're shining a spotlight on the Federal Protective Service, FPS. This agency plays a paramount role in safeguarding federal facilities and ensuring the security of government employees and visitors. In this comprehensive overview, we'll delve into the history of the Federal Protective Service, explore its mission, and gain insights into the crucial tasks carried out by its dedicated officers. So join me on this journey as we unveil the inner workings of FPS and discover how it keeps our federal buildings and personnel safe and secure. The history of the Federal Protective Service, FPS, is a testament to the evolving needs of the United States government to protect its federal facilities and personnel. FPS's origins can be traced back to the early 19th century, when federal agencies began to recognize the necessity of safeguarding government assets and employees. The first significant milestone in FPS's history occurred in 1790, when the Residence Act established the need for federal buildings, including the construction of the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. This marked the beginning of the government's responsibility for securing its properties. However, it wasn't until 1930 that the first dedicated federal protective force was established with the formation of the United States Protective Service, USPS. USPS was tasked with guarding federal buildings and enforcing federal laws within those facilities. As the role of federal facilities expanded throughout the 20th century, the need for enhanced security became increasingly apparent. In response, FPS was officially established in 1971 under the General Services Administration, GSA. FPS was given the critical mission of protecting federal buildings, employees, and visitors, as well as ensuring the continuity of government operations. In 2003, FPS underwent a significant transition when it was transferred from the GSA to the Department of Homeland Security, DHS. This move was part of a broader effort to consolidate security functions under a single department in response to the post-9-11 security landscape. Under the DHS umbrella, FPS's mission expanded to include a broader focus on protecting critical infrastructure and responding to emerging threats. FPS has played a crucial role in enhancing security measures at federal facilities, collaborating with other DHS agencies, and staying at the forefront of security technology. Today, FPS continues to evolve and adapt to emerging threats, making it an essential force in safeguarding federal assets and ensuring the safety of government employees and the public within federal facilities. Its rich history, including its transition to the DHS, is a testament to its enduring commitment to security and protection. Access control remains one of their paramount responsibilities. FPS officers are tasked with meticulously managing entry and exit points, ensuring that only authorized personnel and visitors gain access to federal facilities. This includes verifying identities, conducting security screenings, and enforcing access policies with precision and diligence. The ability to respond swiftly and effectively to security incidents and emergencies is a cornerstone of their role. FPS officers undergo rigorous training to address a wide spectrum of threats, ranging from intrusions and suspicious activities to potential acts of terrorism. Their capacity to remain calm under pressure and take decisive action is pivotal in maintaining the safety and security of federal facilities. Beyond these duties, FPS police officers conduct regular patrols both inside and outside federal facilities. These patrols serve multiple purposes, deterring criminal activity, providing a visible security presence, and detecting security vulnerabilities. Their proactive approach not only helps prevent security breaches, but also contributes to the overall security posture of federal properties. Furthermore, FPS officers collaborate closely with other law enforcement agencies and emergency responders. This cooperation ensures a coordinated and rapid response to security incidents, enhancing the effectiveness of their efforts. In crisis situations, the ability to work seamlessly with external partners is crucial in safeguarding lives and property. FPS police officers are dedicated public servants who play an essential role in upholding the mission of the Federal Protective Service. 
Within the Federal Protective Service, an array of specialized units exists, each with a unique mission and expertise contributing to the agency's overarching commitment to security and protection. Special Response Teams, SRTs. These teams are responsible for responding to high-risk situations, such as active shooter incidents, hostage situations, and bomb threats. K-9 Explosive Detection Teams. These teams use specially trained dogs to detect explosives and other hazardous materials. Hazardous materials. Response teams. These teams are responsible for responding to hazardous materials incidents, such as chemical spills or biological attacks. Mobile Security Deployment, MSD. Teams. These teams provide security services to federal facilities that are not staffed with full-time security personnel. Each of these specialized units plays a pivotal role, strengthening FPS's capacity to protect federal assets and ensure the safety of government employees and visitors. Their dedication and expertise are fundamental to the security of federal facilities across the nation. Becoming an FPS officer is a journey that demands both qualifications and dedicated training. Let's take a closer look at the steps involved. For those aiming for the GS-07 level, candidates must demonstrate at least one year of specialized experience akin to the GS-05 level in federal service. This experience includes tasks like identifying risks to government assets, aiding in security compliance inspections of federal facilities, and assisting in safeguarding these vital spaces. Another path is holding a bachelor's degree from an accredited institution and meeting superior academic achievement. SAA criteria. SAA can be achieved through class standing, a GPA of 3.0 or higher, or membership in a national scholastic honor society. If your experience and education don't quite fit the bill, a combination of both may also suffice, adding up to 100% of the qualification requirement. Detailed transcripts and a clear resume are essential to support this claim. For those aiming for the GS-09 level, candidates must exhibit at least one year of specialized experience akin to the GS-07 level. This includes tasks like identifying risks to government assets, conducting security compliance inspections, and taking action to maintain peace while safeguarding federal facilities and personnel. Again, a combination of specialized experience and graduate education is an option totaling 100% of the qualification requirement, with graduate education exceeding one year. Transcripts and a detailed resume are crucial to substantiate this claim. Training at FLEC. In addition to these qualifications, FPS officers undergo extensive training at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center, FLETC. This immersive training equips them with the knowledge and skills necessary for their roles in law enforcement and security. At FLEC, FPS officers receive comprehensive education in federal law enforcement, ensuring they are well prepared to protect federal facilities and personnel. These qualifications and FLEC training together ensure that FPS officers are not only well prepared, but also highly capable of meeting the demands of their vital mission in safeguarding federal assets and facilities. In conclusion, FPS officers are the unsung heroes who diligently protect the very foundations of our government. They are the silent sentinels, working behind the scenes to ensure the safety and security of federal facilities, employees, and visitors. As we wrap up our journey through the Federal Protective Service, we are reminded of the critical role this agency plays in preserving the integrity of our government operations. FPS is a testament to the dedication and professionalism of those who serve within its ranks. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of FPS. If you found this video informative and insightful, we encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to Federal Uncovered for more in-depth insights into federal agencies and their essential roles in our government. Stay safe, stay informed.